That's a fun. Hi, Dan. Come on, Tom. Uh, not much. So what are we going to do today? What are we going to work on? Today, I think we're going to work on a little bit of getting the sway out of the swing. That's a good idea. I like that. I like that. All I right. see a lot of sways in these amateur swings, and it really kind of really kills them. It really, it's so hard to when you sway and you go out of plane to come back into plane. It's just too hard of a move. It makes it makes the swing take so much longer when you do that. Yeah. You know, you get up there, you know, it throws your timing way out because if you're if you're starting to swing off, and like you said, you see it in almost everybody. They start the swing, and all of a sudden their weight goes way, way over on the right side of their foot, and it goes goes way to the outside. Now, the more move that you've got going this way, lateral move, it's obviously it's going to take you longer to try and get back up to the spot you want to be at. That's it. A lot um, of people just, I, I, I think that they don't really see or they don't understand that they're doing it. So without instruction or proper instruction, you're... You will never get it, and golf becomes a hard game. Yeah, and it really doesn't have to be. You know, I mean, you watch you watch the best players throughout time, and, and you can tell they have very minimal lateral movement in their swing. You know, it's it's a very concise move that is very rotational, and it's a very easy move. So you want to get as much of this laggy sway kind of move out of there as you possibly can. Yes. So how do we get rid of it? Well, one of the first things that I do that I always pay attention to is the takeaway. If the takeaway isn't started properly, it kind of ha it has a domino effect, and everything everything's going to be late. And what I mean by that is, if you start off the swing with tension in your arms, and you start it back by trying to pull the club up to the top, the tension that you have in your arms will pull you laterally. Now, if you'll start the swing off with a little bit more of a burst right from the core, where you're actually just trying to take the weight of your arms and throw them up to the top. You don't have to have tension through this part of the swing. You just give it a little burst of energy at the beginning, and your arms will float to the top. So a burst of energy will get the hands and the club up to the apex is where you need to be exactly. to start the downswing. Exactly. And then the downswing, see, if you're totally relaxed from that point, if you don't have tension in your arms, then gravity will naturally just bring it right back down. Very good, very good. Yeah. Okay, so it's, how about a little drill here, or how about a little, uh, on what we can do to get rid of this so-called sway? Sure, sure. The, one of the first things you want to pay attention to is when, when you're setting up to it, is that you can feel whether or not your hands are taking it away, or if you're actually using your core. Now, if you're using, if you're using a cross-footed drill, you can, use, you can use a drill where you actually you cross your feet over each other. So you cross your right foot over your left, and then keep your left knee bent. Okay. And that's, that's how you want to do it if you're a left-handed player, vice versa if you're the other. Right. Now, what this is actually doing is it's, it's shrinking your so-called safety envelope. You know, when your feet are spread, you have all this room out here to exactly. move without losing your balance. So if you come back and you're swaying, you know, you, you still have you still have your balance and your foundation underneath. Now, if you cross your feet, all of a sudden that safety envelope is shrunk big time. So you're going to be able to feel if if you start pulling it in the backswing, right. you're going to pull yourself right out of balance, and you'll be able to tell that your brain's not going to let you keep doing that over and over again. So it'll it'll start to work out properly. That's fine. Okay. We so, give you room here, and you can. Give a little drill here? Yeah. So you start off, plant your left foot, cross your right one over it, and bend that back knee. Now from right there, just that little pop right at the beginning is enough. Ooh, nice catch. I like it. I like it. And you see there, it's with that brief little move at the beginning, it allows everything and all the body to accelerate coming through. And then that left foot will come out there to catch it. So now, what you're saying now, okay, uh -huh. is that when you go back, if you go back too quick or whatever, you're actually going to fall over then, you're saying, sure. with your legs. If you cross. start with your hands and you're using your hands to yes. try and lift it up to the top, exactly. the more you do that, the, yeah. more, the more it's going to try and pull you off balance. That's fine. That's, that does make sense. Makes a lot of sense to me. If I uh, don't want to fall over, I want to hit the ball, right? Exactly. You know, it's like when you're first learning to walk, you know, you stumble and you fall a little bit. But your instincts do 
know, they don't, they don't want you to hurt yourself. You know, your body's always trying to save you from harm. Yes. You know, so it's, it's not going to make you, it's not going to, it's not going to allow you actually to keep putting yourself in harm's way. You know, if you're starting to pull yourself out of balance, your brain's not going to let you keep doing that over and over again. It's going to start force feeding proper mechanics into your body. And then it becomes much easier because you have, now you're putting yourself in a position, it's actually a balance threat position, but through the drill, it's actually, it's, it's acting like your teeth. Right? You know, so you can be out there working out of a drill mode, and it's actually, it's, it's, it's instructing you. Right. Because it's giving you more feeling of what you're doing. So now can we see this again though, and see yeah. exactly uh, how we're doing this? See if we can do two in a row? See if we can do two How's in a row. How's that? Just about, it's the same recipe. It's always, if you set it in motion well enough at the beginning, it like, it, it just domino effects right through it. Oh, that's another good swing. Very uh, good. It, it's much more Very consistent, good. you yes. know, when you yes. make an effortless kind of swing. So if you do this drill, it's going to take away the sway. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's going to have you come down into point A and point B and actually be on time. Hit the ball straight. Right, hit the ball straight or work the ball. You know, it, it, the, the way the ball moves just has to do with your ball position. Right. You know, but it's exactly what you're saying, though. It's going to allow you to feel that, you know, it's, that it becomes an effortless kind of shot. Right. You know, it's going to teach you how to have that effortless shot. Very and good. from there, it, it works its way into, into your entire game. Right. You can use it. You can do what's awesome about it. You can use it on your driver all the way to your putter. Really? Yes, the putter too. You can use it in the putter too, because even in a putt, right. if you're just trying to jab at it with your hand, exactly. it becomes very inconsistent. Right. Whereas if you're moving through a putt with all of your body, you know, it's not a big swing, but right. even just a little move, if your pounds are accelerating through it, yes. you're going to notice it's going to hold its line much straighter, and it's going to stay on the ground. Right. If you were to look at it you know, on a little video, you'd see how quickly the ball gets onto the ground and how well it holds its line because it's now rolling end over end. Right, very good, very good. So in other words, you're saying this can help you for your whole game. This sure. is not just your seven iron, this is every no. club, no. Yeah. how you can hit the ball and become a better golfer. Definitely. And that's, of course, that's what you want to do. Exactly. Become well, better golfer. Everybody wants to get better. Yeah, and have fun. Exactly, you gotta have fun when you're doing it. You know, enjoy yourself, learn a little bit about your body when you're out there, become sensitive to what's going on. And the sky's the limit as far as you want to take it. You know, when you're out there practicing, you want to be able to feel what's going on in your body and, and, and learn from it. So. It's what you want to put into it, you get out of it. You want to become a good golfer? If the phone rings, you can answer it. How's that? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, and take it easy, have fun out there. Yes, go see your local pro. See ya. I knew one of the phones was going to ring. Ah, was I got mine on too. It was all right. I thought it was great. Well, I, mean, great. I didn't I think anybody here would hear it, but. Oh, no, I don't. It doesn't. Oh, we're still recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>